Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Game Room Theater. Today we're diving into the world of big screen entertainment in a small package with the XGME Mogo 2 Pro Android TV projector. I've been reviewing quite a few portable projectors as of late, and this has been on the list for a while. I've had a chance to play with this bad boy for a few months now, and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you so that you all can determine if this is the right low cost yet high quality projector. So let's get started. So let's just review some of the high level specs before I get into a deeper dive here. Uh, it is a native 1080p projector, it's got 400 ISO lumens, it's D65 color temperature standard, a DCI-P3, 90% of the color gamut, and it does have intelligent screen adaptation, and I'll talk about that in a bit more detail here shortly. Uh, also, Android TV 11.0 is built in, so you don't need to add any additional external devices to it if you don't want to, uh, and it can be powered off of power banks as well. So in the box, you do get a 65 watt power adapter. And once again, as I mentioned earlier, you can power this with a power bank. Just make sure that's got 65 watt output. The remote I've found to be well laid out, uh, no complaints about button placement and accessing uh, certain programs quickly. And inside you do get your usual manuals and a Netflix installation guide is one of the things that's uh, right there. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with Netflix preloaded, but there's ways to get that done. So guys, if you haven't heard of XGME, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background. These guys have been around since 2013. Uh, they've been working with some reputable partners like Google, Harman Kardon, and Texas Instruments, and they build these incredible all-in-one entertainment devices. They've got a few others as well. You can check the, uh, the description of this video for a link. Uh, to their website and they sold over 4 million units globally. So in the hands it does feel like a premium device. It is compact and you can use my hands as reference it's not particularly big but it just weighs under two and a half pounds and it's got this sandstone textured mocha gold. You can put this on a tripod as well as you can see from the bottom there but here's where it gets interesting. In the back, you actually have a visible base diaphragm, and this this actually moves to generate bass, and it, it's huge sound. So before I do a sound demo, you do get a USB Type-C, an HDMI 2.0, and a USB 2.0 port. So before I play the sound, once again, guys, huge sound from this tiny package. It's by two 8-watt stereo speakers. It does do Adobe Audio, Adobe Digital, Adobe Digital Plus. Anyway, I'll stop talking so you guys can see how crystal clear this is. And turn up your speakers. Well, how incredible was that? I mean, equally incredible is the images that I'm putting up here. So I'm sitting about eight and a half feet from a 110 inch screen in my theater where I have this projector set up on one of the armrests of my theater seats. And I'm sitting on one of the sides here. And as you can see, just gorgeous, gorgeous image quality. I mean, it's hard to tell that this is actually a projected image versus a giant TV that's handling HDR. Simply mind-blowing color reproduction. And look at this contrast ratio. And I'm just gonna demo some of my favorite scenes. It's just simply because it's a reference point for me. I have a lot of different projectors in my theater room that I've brought in and taken out. So I, I like seeing these and how they compare. And this is extremely respectable and it keeps up with some of the very higher end projectors I have. Even though it's native 1080p, the resolution sitting, the distance that I am is just brilliant. It's been fantastic for TV watching as well as watching sports and playing games as well. As you can see, very, very detailed image. And just look at the level of detail, guys. This is, once again, I'm sitting eight and a half feet and this is a 110 inch projected image. Look at the blades of grass. Look at the hair on his face. The amount of detail, the colors, the reproduction. 
It is just fantastic and it's hard to believe that this is actually a native 1080p projector. Now let's talk about some of the tech that's gone into this projector to, to allow for some versatile installations and automation as well. So it's got uninterrupted keystone correction and autofocus. So as you can see, if you've got this projector installed on the side, it'll automatically make those adjustments and also adjust for focus. Another cool feature is intelligent eye protection. So if anyone walks in front of the projector, it'll sense that individual and turn itself off until they're out of the way. Now this is really interesting. It's got intelligent obstacle avoidance. So say you've got a picture frame on the wall, it'll adjust itself to avoid that. So several use cases, because it's highly portable, you can use this outdoors, or you can buy the freestyle stand and basically swivel it to your ceiling and use that uh, as your giant screen. And once again, it does come with Android TV 11.0 built in. You don't need any external device to even plug in and you can cast off of your phone as well. And in terms of bright modes, all the menus, by the way, are inside Android TV. So several different brightness modes. I typically just alternate between Vivid and Cinema. I found those to be fairly accurate. Keystone correction, you can do this manually as well if you wish. And some may choose to just leave everything in manual mode and turn off all these automations and tune themselves. And you can certainly do that. It's also pretty versatile in terms of where you want to place the projector. You can put it in the front, front ceiling, rear, or rear ceiling. Now I won't go through all of the menus. There's so many different options to turn on and off, but it does do 3D video. As you can see in the standard various 3D uh, modes that uh, you can pick from. So in conclusion, guys, this is a fantastic projector priced at uh, 599 MSRP. It's got impressive image quality with Android TV OS built in, excellent portability, and it's a fantastic option for movie nights, gaming, and believe it or not, even work presentations. Um, the audio, again, is just, in my opinion, mind-blowing. And I've, I haven't had to reach for external speakers just because of how robust the sound quality is. And let me repeat myself one last time. If you want to elevate your entertainment space without breaking the bank and enjoy the luxury of a big screen experience anywhere you go, I highly recommend the XGME Mogo 2 Pro. And let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tech reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.